Good uh, afternoon, good evening, good morning. We have a very global community here. It is the fourth annual HandyCon Jahan. Thank you so much for joining me again as our opening, as always. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks for thanks for having me, as always. It's, it's an incredible uh, moment to be able to say that we're doing this for the fourth time. I mean, it's who would have thought that, uh, you know, the little handshake project that could would still be here, be still surviving. Yeah, I know. It's been through a lot. It's been, there's been a, you know, we'll, we'll go through that for the next few days, all the good and the bad and the uh, exciting things and the unknowns that have happened. So it's been truly uh, an exciting time for uh, for Handshake. So we have some slides go through, like, yeah, exactly. Let's like reflect on the last few years. Um, I will open some some slides here. And uh, we can have some fun today. Everybody's already taken full advantage of the chat. Seems some people know how to uh, how to use our fun chat there on the right. But yeah, please everybody engage. This is a live. I know it's online. We're still doing it online, but it's it's live. So we always have people making relationships, making friendships, making deals, making trades. So please uh, don't be shy to use our chat. Um, get to know each other. There's definitely yeah. some regulars. So we have some slide, a little bit of introduction today, warm up this event called Reflecting yeah. the Last Four Years of, of HandyCon, Four Years of Handshake Community. So um, if Jahan remembers, this started, remember our uh, podcast where uh, we were talking and I can't, you know, I, I took a bit of the clip of the quote but yeah, we said, let's do it. Um, you know, you, we had, I have a Global From Asia podcast and we were talking about NFTs and, and uh, Web3. And you had mentioned about some of the events you did with Ethereum in Hong Kong, I remember. Yeah. And uh, and there was Clubhouse was the rage then. I, I don't know if you still use Clubhouse. It's, it's... You know, the, the funny thing is that Handshake, four years later, Handshake is still thriving and, and Clubhouse is basically dead. <laughs> wow. We've survived longer than Clubhouse. That's great. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's one of the powers of the decentralized community. You know, we are uh, global global people and uh, proof of work and uh, and still going ahead. But yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Those are crazy times of Clubhouse. Everybody's locked down. And uh, so, yeah, we did this still on AirMeet four, four years ago, March 2021. And uh, within two weeks, we put this together. We had some, you know, great um, speakers. So we started the first one, March 2021, and um, we had 49 speakers, 28 sessions, and three sponsors, which was awesome. Um, you know, Hex Trust, one of your portfolio companies, came in. You, you know, Connecticut sponsored multiple years. Thank you for that. And there was uh, um, the Handshake Foundation, which was Handshake Jesus came in and in a couple weeks notice and supported and we have some people here speaking then that were speaking there so it's a that one was really powerful the first one i got emotional at the end of that and uh i, yeah, I don't know great. yeah so so some of the highlights that i put there's tom tom barrett here um some of you remember brantley uh um and others here on the slides we were this was a funny session where we were going through of uh we welcome we still welcome all kinds of projects in the in the decentralized space um where we're talking about different traditional domains and different domain solutions in the blockchain and this one got pretty intense um and and uh yeah joe don yeah it was really a great um session there i was one of my highlights we also had shake decks remember I, there was this anonymous i never knew who he was he's I haven't seen him in a community for a while, but Shake Dex, which was Kurumari, which was uh, it's like an anime character. With the, with the coolest vocalization. Yeah. yeah. 
And um, but yeah, that was 2021, which is really, really, really great. We're, we're having some other we're having some new kind of like, you know, we do respect people's privacy and, uh, you know, pe people can't be anonymous to speak here and present um, in the fashion of decentralized Internet. But but yeah, this was uh, the first year, 2021, three is it three years ago? Or four, 21, 22, 23. I guess it was three, right? Um, so that was that was some highlights of 2021 that I, I liked. And then one of the other big ones was the first time the founders kind of spoke in the in the in the community. So we had Andrew Lee and and uh, and JJ here, two of two of them. Okay, sure, understand. So then we went through that, and then. It was just a really great time to bring everybody together. 22 in 22 again three another. This was a little bit longer, three days, 34 sessions, and three sponsors again. So we'll just kind of go through. Fistful of Ass was our co-host. I remember Fistful, and then uh, we were much more tech. It was more tech focused that year, and um, and we had a huge dot s auction with uh, you know Chango and Encrypted. And it was really about mass adoption. So let's go through this 2020, 2023, which was just last year, March 8th to the 10th. So 57 speakers, 38 sessions, four sponsors, really amazing. Um, some other highlights. Bitmain came on the scene last year, about this time last year. They, they started mining, awesome. which was good. And Margie, a lot of you know Margie now. She'll be sharing. She They got involved. Uh, Migs Machine did a great session last year about NFTs or not NFTs and things like that and his merch and his community. And memes. There was a lot of crazy memes last year. So that's that for that year. So this year is about leveling up. You know, I think a lot of us have like 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 we've we've made it right to hand like the community stayed together. We've gone through this bear. It's, we're entering a bull market. And uh, it's time for us to level up as a community to build. I know Paul Webb has been building quite a bit. So uh, let's redefine the horizons and let's um, make amazing things happen. We themed this red, res resilience, evolution, and diversification. There's going to be quite yeah. a few kinds of projects in the space. We welcome all kinds of decentralized projects. Um, but, but yeah, what are, we, what are some of your takeaways, Jahan, or, or thoughts for this conference coming up? Yeah, I, I mean, I have to say, um, it's a it's an incredible time in the market, right? Um, even beyond Handshake, uh, what we as Kinetic uh, are seeing is is you know what I call the beginning of the end game for for crypto in the sense that we're moving from you know our own little you know pocket of kind of degen nerd out tech uh, finance into the mainstream, uh, and whether you like it or not, whether you believe that's where we should go or not, that's what's happening. Uh, our culture, our capital, uh, our ideas, our tech, um, it's all going mainstream and we see it happening. Um, we are starting to you know, change the world as we said we would as a crypto community. Um, and I think that Handshake remains one of the most important pillars uh, of that, uh, that kind of transformation because it's domains. Um, and domains equals you know, mind share and real estate uh, and address uh, and identity all in one. Uh, and I think that, you know, Handshake, despite it not being kind of VC, you know, properly, you know, heavy VC backed, despite it, you know, being a truly, truly decentralized project a la Bitcoin um, in terms of its devs, et cetera, it still has been able to maintain its culture. It's been able to kind of maintain its community. Um, I think, but there are challenges, right? I mean, in crypto, what I find is the projects that survive are the ones that, you know, make it and go big. You just have to be able to survive long enough for the market uh, and the mindshare to come around to some of the fundamental truths, which is that domains and decentralized domains will be uh, the kind of dominant form of real estate for the digital future. Um, and though Handshake is not, you know, a, a household name yet, we do see a lot of uh, developments in terms of ENS and, and you know, we love those guys and, and more power to them. We see a lot of development with unstoppable domains and, you know, it's great for everybody to do their own thing. I mean, um, you know, I don't want to be a hater. Uh, the entire domain space and whoever is kind of interested enough to kind of build on it, more power to you. We, we wish you all luck. Um, at the same time, I think Handshake 
has you know the most um, community spirit. It has some of the most interesting technology, um, and I still think you know I said this before. Handshake H and S could be bigger than Bitcoin. I still truly believe that. It might take a little bit longer the way that we are, um, but it will take the leveling up of the community to get us there. Uh, I think that the value of digital real estate underpinned by domains um, is not that far off. But what it's going to take for us as a community going forward is to break out of the bubble uh, and to stop just talking to each other and really starting to reach out to develop partnerships. And so I love that diversification out of that red resilience, evolution, diversification. We must diversify our community by bringing in partners. Um, and that means reaching across kind of party lines. And that re means reaching across uh, protocol lines to figure out how is it that Handshake as a premier uh, kind of domain technology can be useful, can be of service to some of the other larger protocols that are out there, the other L1s, and provide value, provide utility. We're not here to hang out. We're not here just to like, you know, um, just, you know, kind of be in each other's company. We need to be of utility and of service to the rest uh, of the decentralized, you know, kind of ecosystem. And so, that's kind of not my rallying cry, this diversification. How do we actually be of service? How do we you know, figure out, hey, what can Handshake do for you uh, as, an, as a consumer app uh, you know, and as a developer? Uh, I think that's really what we need, where we need to be in our mindset for the next year in order to make sure that in 2025, we still have a HandyCon 5 and we have progress to report. Um, I think that every little you know, conversation and every move that we make is progress and it's great, but we really need to start thinking bigger. We need to start thinking wider. We need to start thinking more strategically in terms of how we cross pollinate with different applications and with different protocols uh, and layer in handshake uh, in all of its formats uh, into different applications. So I'm excited about the future. I remain, you know, a large handshake holder. I'm, you know, one of the, the most still uh, quite a large domain holder. Uh, and, you know, just excited to be able to, you know, partner with Mike and, and welcome everybody back to HandyCon. Yeah, thanks. I always appreciate you coming to share with us, Shahana, and give us some inspiration. Um, but yeah, like you said, we're going to have a lot of different protocols and different uh, applications the next few days. And we, um, some already integrate Handshake, some don't yet, but we hope that maybe after the event, they will uh, consider it. And it's really up to us as a community. You know, a lot of people always jump in our Telegram or our various social media says like when, when Binance, when this, when, 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 but it's up to us, right? I mean, it's kind of one of the unique, more unique projects <clears throat> that, uh, we, you know, we as community are, are the directors, as, as it was said in, in the Handshake white paper, where uh, it's up to us to, to make this su success, which is a lot of pressure and responsibility. And some people maybe don't, like that but but uh yeah let's all support any any other project that you know embraces handshake or, or encourage them to embrace handshake um one of our community sponsors alex neto at uh well he's also with namebase but he has another project called uswap.xyz we'll, we'll be sharing about that later but he's using handshake names in the application it's a it's a it's like a linkedin uh, web3 it's like a resume and a job hiring where you create nfts out of resumes but he's building in handshake names and he says, yeah, we have to build on handshake. We have to use handshake. Um, you know, I think, you know, I'm also working on that at, at load pipe with the e-commerce to user names for, for your, your e-commerce store or, or shops. You know, I think we have to use handshake. I know Paul Webb's been working on something. I can't wait to see, but um, you know, let's all work together. We have a huge lineup today. So we have a panel just to open up the session or is, do we want to take some questions to hand or, I think we're about wrapped up. Um, yeah, I mean, I would just, the only thing I would other add is, uh, is you know, obviously, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of like kind of um, sponsor recognition, but I just want to say thank you to, to Bitmain for, for, for sponsoring, uh, you know, their involvement and their kind of commitment, not just to sponsoring this, is, uh, but actually continuing to actually build hardware for the space. Um, it adds a lot of energy, adds a lot of, you know, kind of uh, confidence uh, that, you know, there's more out there. Um, and that the biggest players in you know mining and hardware continue to see Handshake uh, as a space worth continue to invest in. So we're really grateful um, for your you know your presence, for your involvement, continued engagement, and, and sponsoring 
uh, you know, this the one of one of the more important forums uh, of the year for for handshake. So thank you. Yeah, we really appreciate Bitmain. Uh, I've got we, they came into our the handshake space a bit over a year ago, and uh, and have been been um, been really supporting. It's also very secure. There's lots of people mining. You know, it's 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 a secure network, and and I guess there's always different people's definitions of security. But in in a lot of our opinions, it's a very secure network. With I think a lot because of Bitmain. Um, Gold Shell is still there too. Thank you, Gold Shell. But yeah, Bitmain's really stepped up. Um, actually, Jahan, I'm going to Oman uh, on behalf of Handshake. They invited me, and in and uh, uh, next later this week and later this month, um, I'm going to speak about oh, how Bitmain is uh, is supporting Handshake community. And uh, as an ambassador of Handshake, I'll be sharing like a case study to their uh, community there. So, uh, but yeah, Bitmain has been really stepping up and and has helped us. Um, Get through this bear market but i think they also believe in handshake you know they have their we've had some various twitter spaces with them and they uh they they actually came to us after the after the uh i forget the word but when ethereum moved to proof of stake that's when they found us uh found handshake and they were looking for a uh, proof of work naming protocol and they found handshake and i don't know if there's really many other, maybe there's, I guess people could probably name a couple, but this was their top pick and they, they went full, full behind, uh, you know, building a machine for us and supporting. So it's great. And dot X is again, came through this year as sponsor, uh, as a second main sponsor. So thank you. Dot X. Um, hmm. thank yeah. you. Dot X. Amazing. Yeah. He's really great. And then there's, uh, some community sponsors as well. Well, I mentioned you swap and, um, there's some other, you know, up and coming startups in the key <laughs> ecosystem that will be um, doing various promotions here. So it's been really, really great. The merge. Thanks. Thanks, Jordan. But um, it's been a fun one. And it's our, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing about Handshake. Like people think I'm like the, you know, I'm like I work for the foundation. There's no foundation here. Right. There's no uh, no one. You know, I mean, we just start. I started this as a YouTube podcast in 2020 as Sky Include um, because I like to make content for businesses and projects that I like, you know, I have a few other uh, blogs and, and channels. So anyone here can step up and get involved and they have, uh, that's the beautiful thing about Handshake. There's no permission. There's nobody you have to ask. Uh, when we first started this, you know, um, people were amazed that this was done in short notice, but anybody can create. There was, um, there's just a lot to do. So yep. I think so I one think of the interesting we, things also okay. is like is like looking looking at the market side of things. Um, you know, obviously we're we're, I don't know, are we in the bull run? Are we still at the kind of doorstep of the bull run? It, it's starting to feel like we're we're starting to be in it. I mean, everything is much faster. Um, and one of the kind of uh, things that I tend to see in, in the beginning of a bull run is people look around and they say, "Wham, where is the like a strong fundamental undervalued token?" Um, and obviously, none of this is investment advice, uh, but I I can only guess that handshake uh, is potentially seen as one of those you know extremely undervalued tokens because it has historically incredible um, top you know top tier VC uh, original investment which validates a lot of the technology and the approach uh, but has historically kind of lagged as an, as an actual token uh, because the the challenge of getting it integrated on different exchanges uh, continues to be an issue um, but I would have to imagine that there's probably one or more people out there who are, you know, silently biding their time, uh, building a very, very large stack of handshake uh, and buying it cheap, um, because we often see these kind of undervalued tokens suddenly skyrocket as somebody's built a position, and then they actually start trading uh, and providing liquidity to the market. So, for me, I'm still very excited uh, about the potential for the handshake, and that's personally why I hold. Um, yeah. And you know, I have I have a a, a decent stack, uh, but I have to imagine there are people who are accumulating and either waiting for that moment um, where we get a, a much larger kind of exchange and liquidity uh, and start to activate. But these things can flip really, really quickly, and we see it all the time in in the kind of uh, crypto uh, VC space. Yeah, it's exciting. I, I agree. I mean, yeah, like I, yeah, not financial advice, D D Y O R, but. Yeah, it just seems such a, such a uh, undervalued. I mean, there's community. We have this event for four years. There's builders. There's there's projects. There's platforms. But I think it's a probably a big issue is liquidity. But there are some people speaking this 
conference in the next few days about some solutions they're working on for that, which is exciting. And um, but yeah, it's still it's still early. You know, it's a big, big Bitcoin's time right now. Bitcoin is doing amazing, and I think you know usually um, everything follows. And uh, yeah, we all believe in handshake, and it's exciting. And we'll show that these next few days. I think people are always just shocked at all this community building and, and projects being built in the space. So I think um, I think we can wrap up for now. It's uh, it's a great yep. opening. Um, thanks for for making it, Jahan. And uh, we'll have this. Always. Um, the next few days, there's a full agenda. Everybody can see in this rooms. There's networking. There's a whole lineup. The next few few hours, um, and uh, of course, please use your chats. Please let us know um, how we can help you. And shout out to Anne. I think a lot of you, anybody here working Thanks, this event has talked to Anne. She's really stepped up. It's another example, right? She's uh, she she organically loved Handshake when working with the content we were doing at Sky Include and and and, and has stepped up to be a huge leader. She's going to join. We're actually doing a big. There's a big hackathon in uh, in Vietnam that Arene is doing. Uh, Jahan, I don't know if you know about that. It's in, end of April. Um, uh, so that's going to be a great one. And um, where in Ho Chi Minh or in Hanoi? Yeah, Arene is putting it together. She'll have a session this uh, these days to uh to share about that but uh, there's a non-zero yeah. chance i might be there oh really it's like uh yeah, 27th to 29th i believe um, i'll yeah. put it on the calendar thanks awesome that'd be really great. great okay everybody so thanks for your uh everybody attending and we'll we'll switch up to an, an amazing panel about post happenings uh, updates and uh, and uh, in space so that's a wrap thank you all uh thanks, just stay much. right there thanks, yeah, thanks, Jan. Everybody, so everybody, just stick around, and I think it will auto flip to the next one if if you're uh, new to this session. So thank you. Thank you.